Hi there, my name is Howard Tinker from Restaurant Profits and this month I want to talk to you about some ideas that you can use uh, basically bootstrap marketing. So if you've absolutely got no money for a marketing budget, some ideas that you can use if you've got nothing at all, some ideas if you could spare $100, some ideas if you can spare $500 and also some ideas if you can spend a thousand dollars on marketing. So I'm going to uh, do a series of videos this month where I'm going to be able to explain to you lots of different ways that you can bootstrap your marketing and get your message out there and get people coming in. Why am I doing this? Well, a lot of what I'm going to teach you is what I have taught people over the years and they've paid for this information. But right now our industry is in such a state I've never seen it so tough for so many people. There's COVID um, affecting everybody. Um, There is supply chain issues. There's staffing issues. Um, There's staff that are sick. So it's not just can't find new staff. There's current staff that are sick. So I figure that if you really want some help to fill your restaurant or make it more busy than it is right now, what more could I do than uh, than reach out and help you? So before I begin with the um, tactics that you can use, let's first of all back up a little bit and talk about uh, the bigger picture and the bigger strategies that you need to use in order for your marketing to be successful. So when I work with people, I talk about the there is four ways to grow your business using marketing. So way number one that everybody thinks is the best way to do it is to get new business, get new customers coming through your door. And everybody goes for that one. It seems the most obvious when we look at the big companies, they're always advertising out there and it seems like that's what they're doing. Um, However, it's not the ideal thing to do. Uh, particularly when you've got no money, uh, throwing um, money that you don't have against the wall or uh, into social media um, is not the best use of your time and your money. But I will talk about new business. Um, The second thing is I talk about repeat business. Now, this is where you can make um, people come in and make money from hardly having spent anything to do so. And I'm going to show you a way uh, that somebody did this uh, in a moment and they spent nothing at all in terms of uh, cost of marketing um, and they brought in $68,000 over two months. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, The third way is to increase um, the amount of money that people spend in your restaurant. Um, So you've got them in. Maybe you've only got a third of the tables covered, but getting them to spend $50 instead of $30 or $100 instead of $60, um, how do you get people to do that? And then the fourth way that I talk about is increasing your prices. And although right now in the midst of what we're doing, you probably are thinking, I don't want to do that because it's going to scare people away. Um, Sometimes you just have to do it. And most of the time, people don't mind um, much to... uh, the consternation of everyone who thinks it's going to be terrible and it's going to push people away. It actually doesn't. Uh, Research shows that most people leave because of perceived indifference that you don't care about them um, rather than your prices go up. Anyway, let's get back to the first thing, which is um, how do you uh, get people to come in and to spend more money without you spending anything on marketing? Well, one of the first things that you've got to do is remember the first two ways to grow your business, new business and repeat business. We're talking about repeat business here. So we're talking about communicating with people that have already done business with you. And so a client came to us um, and he'd his restaurant used to be a really great restaurant. And what had happened in the years that he'd owned it, about 12 years, is more and more restaurants had opened up in the area. There was tons of competition. People always go after the new shiny object and they were forgetting about his restaurant. And so it had gone from a booming restaurant to one that was quite quiet and nothing had really changed. He was doing the same menu, the same quality. 
everything. It was known as like one of the nicest restaurants in the uh, in the town, um, but people were going elsewhere. And so I said to him, do you have a database of your current customers? And he said, yes, I do. And I said, do you market to it? And he said, no. So I knew straight away, all we had to do was do some marketing to that database and we could get people through the door. So on other videos, I've talked about all the different things that we do, but this one, I'm just gonna explain one specific strategy that we used um, and how we got people through the door. So we got his database and the first thing that we did, now remember he'd not sent an email out to this list for ages and ages. The first thing that we did was do a menu launch. So it was coming into autumn like it is at the moment now and he um, was about to do an autumn menu launch. And what we got him to do was to talk to his wine supplier and to say to the wine supplier, hey, if we featured your wines on our special autumn menu and nobody else's, um, would you give us a discount on the wines? And they said yes. And so he got 12 wines um, that um, came directly from that wine supplier, which was gonna be featured on this list. Um, and then he put the list together. And so he now had wine that was discounted even more than wholesale rate so the maximum he spent for a, a bottle of wine was seven dollars but there were others that were cheaper than that so we put the email together and we sent out this email that said um, come in and celebrate the new autumn menu with us and um, if you choose a dish from the autumn menu you get a complimentary bottle of wine from x winery um, and we sent that out to the mailing list and it was only supposed to work in March, but it worked so well. I think he did about $35,000 from that one email um, that he wanted to run it in April. By the end of, of April, he'd had over a thousand people into the restaurant dining from that menu um, and he did $68,000 in sales. So. To actually do it, all it took was him to talk to, to one of his suppliers and get it discounted. Then it was a matter of sending out an email. Now, obviously he works with us, he has to pay money to us, but for you, if you are gonna do this on your own, you can use uh, a free email program like MailChimp, if that's what you wanna do. And then you put that email together and you send it out to your list. Now. We sent it out once in March and it brought in, like I said, about $30,000. We did it again in April and in total it brought in $68,000. Now, um, yes, he had to give away a bottle of wine, but the amount of money he made from that by giving away that bottle of wine, and remember it was a discount, um, it blew it out of the water. So it, if you do it with something like um, MailChimp, it's not gonna cost you anything to send it out. Um, and you're only gonna give away that discount if somebody comes in. And in his case, over a thousand people came in to, uh, to take up that offer. Consequently, they were reminded about how great his restaurant was. We got them then to join his birthday club um, and his birthday club has been smashing it out of the park. Uh, this guy, his birthday club converts at 50%. Now most marketing converts at somewhere between four and 12%. Um, so if you send out 100 um, emails or 100 cards, you will get four to 12 people in. His is doing 50%. So every time he does a birthday campaign, somebody's birthday, 50% of people will get it coming, which is an incredible result. And that comes down to that repeat business strategy. So we sent out his email to his list for his autumn menu launch. Those people came in, they brought their friends, their family, we got them into the birthday club, we grew his database, then we could email out to them again about something else, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Melbourne Cup, whatever it was, um, and they come in again. And then on their birthday, they come in again. So what we're doing is we're using his current list to get people in and we're growing that list um, so that we can offer 
um, more opportunities for people to come in and it's not all discounting um, people are coming in for all kinds of things like Mother's Day and Father's Day and Christmas Day and whatever it is uh, without the need for a discount uh, the autumn menu launch did have a slight discount in um, but what happens when people get a free bottle of wine is they spend more on the food they get more drinks they don't just come in in ones and twos they come in in tables so um, he did really really well out of that so no dollars down marketing that brought in sixty eight thousand dollars and uh, over a thousand people dining in two months so if you've got nothing uh, to spend on your marketing you can do that same strategy and use something like um, MailChimp to do that. Um, all you've got to do is load all of your email addresses of your clients in there and then send them out um, a voucher or send them out an invite to come in and do that. Uh, one of the things that you might find is that if you've not emailed them before or you've not emailed them regularly, that there is some resistance because it's just coming out of the blue. You do need to nurture people within your list so that they're used to hearing from you. So that was just one example of the things that we can do. Over this month, I'm going to um, I'm going to share lots of different ideas with you, uh, so I can help you out in this tough time. If you need more help and you want to have uh, just a chat with me or get in touch with Restaurant Profits, uh, the company, please go to our website restaurantprofits.com.au. Um, fill in the form and we'll be in touch with you straight away um, and we can maybe have uh, a session you and I uh, talking about what you need to do uh, to grow your business and your profits as well. Bye for now.